Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice problem prime number. So first, let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically, in this question, we would be given a number, let's say n is 5. Okay, we need to check if the given number is a prime number or not. What is a prime number? A prime number is a number that is divisible by 1 by 1 and divisible by itself only. So basically a number is a prime number if it only have two factors. One is number one. Second factor is, is the number itself. For example, see 5. 5 has two factors that are 1 and 5, right? So it satisfies the criteria for being a prime number. So 5 is a prime number. Similarly, if I go with 7, okay? If I go with 7, 7 is also a prime number. Why? Because 7 has two factors, 1 and 7. Now let's take another number. For example, I have n is equal to 9. Do you think 9 is a prime number? No, 9 is not a prime number. Why? Because 9 has the following factors. 1, 3, okay? And last one is 9. Now see, 1 is there, correct? 9 is also there, but there is 3 also, right? So because the presence of 3 is there, it is not a prime number. So I hope the question and the concept of prime number is clear to you. Now let's move forward. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section, choose basic. Okay. Then you need to find the problem prime number. Once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Okay. So let's solve the question. Okay. Let's read the question. For a given number n, check if it is prime or not. A prime number is a number which is only divisible by 1 and itself. I hope the question is clear to you and we would code it here. Okay, so let's start. First step is I would import the math module. Okay. Then the next step is first I need to check if the number is 1 or not. Okay, if n equal equal to 1 then what? Then I can return with 0 because see basically 1 divides many all the other numbers, right? So return 0. Okay, this is the first condition. Next int, okay, circular brackets, math dot square root of what square root of the number okay next is i need to apply a for loop for i in range what is the range range is from 2 comma a plus 1 now remember one thing why i am starting from 2 because i have already done the condition with 1 right next colon enter next if circular brackets n modulus i that means if any other number see basically over here i am saying start from 2 okay wait see let's say i have n is my 9 okay now basically i am saying start from 2 because 1 is there right 1 is for every number start from 2 and go till 9 so that means go from 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so Go through all these numbers, start from 2 and go till all these numbers and after going to all these numbers, what do you need to check? You need to check if any of these numbers, any of these numbers, let's say they are i, okay? Any of these numbers, are they dividing completely the given number? That means if I divide this by i, for example 2 or 3, does it give me 0? Because if this is true, if it is giving me 0, right? So, this condition would be not a prime number. So, I hope this part is clear to you. Now, let's move forward. Okay. n equal to i equal equal to 0. Then, if this is true, then I need to return with 0. Enter backspace. Backspace over here. If all of this is false, I can just return with 1. Right. Now, I would click on compile and run to check if my solution is correct or not. Okay, there is an error. Let's see what's the error. N is not defined. Okay, so basically let's make it small. Compile and run. Compilation is completed. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Okay, so let's wait. So problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem prime number. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.